With modern web technologies like HTML5 and PHP, you can now perform tasks inside your browser without the need to download disk-based hogging software. And because they're web-based, they'll run on just about any operating system, including Windows, Mac, Linux, and for you Chromebook users, Chrome OS. So in this video, I'll show you 10 cool websites with awesome tools that can replace your PC software. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up, if you're looking for an alternative to Photoshop, there's no better web app than Photopea. Not only does it have most of the same features as Photoshop, its user interface looks very similar, with the ability to work with various Adobe file types, including file types from Sketch and GIMP as well. Best of all, it's completely free. You'll find most of the tools you would ever need located here on the left. In the menu bar here at the top, you'll find additional tools, features, and settings. You can even change the theme. And over here on the right, it even supports working with layers. With Photopea, their free account is ad-supported. If you go with a paid account, ads are removed, and instead of undoing up to 30 steps, you can undo up to 60 instead. Other than that, there is no difference between the paid and free account. If you're looking for a more user-friendly photo editor than Photopea or Photoshop, Pixlr is what I recommend. It supports most of the popular image formats, including PSD, PNG, JPEG, and many others. If you're looking for inspiration, dozens of design templates are included for free to help get you started. To assemble multiple photos easily, a free collage maker is built in. With a single click, a background removal tool is included, and also includes a ton of filters and effects. Pixlr is available in two flavors. Pixlr X is their no-fuss image editor, it works best when you want to quickly edit a photo. And Pixlr E is for those of you needing a larger set of tools for more detailed work. With Pixlr X to quickly edit an image, you'll find a basic set of the most used tools along the left to add text, crop, retouch, and add filters and effects. And with Pixlr E here on the left, you get additional tools, including brush presets, a fill and gradient tool, sponge and color tool, along with tools to transform your image. Both Pixlr X and E are ad-supported. For an ad-free experience with additional features, they have plans starting at around $5 per month. Up next, Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suite, is a collection of office tools to increase productivity with additional tools for collaboration and communication in a team environment. Many of the apps included in Workspace are ones you'll all recognize, like Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, and others. Also included are web apps for security and management. Some of the apps have additional features within Workspace. For example, with Gmail, you can get a custom email with your company domain with additional integrations with other Google products within Gmail. They do offer a 14-day free trial to try it out, and the pricing is very reasonable when compared with Microsoft 365 with plans that start at $6 per user per month. Many people complain that video editors like Premiere Pro are too difficult to use. NVIDIA makes it easy for first-time users with a low learning curve. To make it simple, you can choose from one of the more than 4,000 pre-made templates available, text to video with more than 50 themes to choose from, or you can start from scratch. After you make your selection, choose your dimension, wide is best for computer monitors and TVs, square is good for no one except for those posting on social media, and vertical is best for mobile phones. And after you make your selection, click on make a video. In the editor itself, you have the basic tools at the top to trim and crop your video. Along the left is another place to choose a template, and you have other options to add stock video, images, and music. With the free plan, many of you will be happy to know that they don't slap a nasty watermark on your video and includes the standard media from their library, but the resolution is limited to 720p HD. For additional features, higher resolution up to 1080p, and access to premium media, plans start at $15 per month. If you don't own a powerful gaming PC or gaming console, cloud gaming services let you stream games to the devices you already own without taking up valuable drive space. Here's some examples. Xbox Cloud Gaming in beta as part of the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate includes more than 100 games for you to play. It's only a dollar for the first month and $14.99 per month thereafter. NVIDIA GeForce Now does not include any games. Instead, it lets you stream games you already own to any device from your Steam, Uplay, and Epic Game Store libraries. For free, you're limited to one-hour sessions, and you get less access to the servers. 
If you want priority access to the servers and longer session lengths, that will cost you around $100 per year. Google Stadia, like Xbox Cloud Gaming, gives you access to more than 100 games. After a free month, its cost is around $10 per month. And in Amazon's quest to take over the world, they've entered the cloud gaming market with Luna. At this time, it's still in early access, and you'll have to request an invite to join. There are two channel-based options available. Luna Plus with games from various developers is $5.99, and Ubisoft Plus is $14.99 per month. There are several file converters available to download. Handbrake and Format Factory are both quite popular. Online Convert is what we recommend if you don't want to download any software or slow down your computer. The categories on the site we use most often are audio, image, and document converters. As an example, to convert a PDF to a Microsoft Word format, go to Document Converter, and in the drop-down menu, select Convert to DocX. The file size limit is up to 100 megabytes, and as a warning, don't ever convert anything with personally identifiable information like your social security number. On the screen, go to your folder and drag and drop the PDF file into the box. Make any changes if needed, and this will vary depending on the file type, then click Start Conversion, and then wait for it to finish. When it's done converting, just save it to your computer. VirusTotal is one of the most useful security sites ever to be created. It uses more than 70 scanners to detect viruses, malware, and other malicious content. It works great as an added layer to your normal security software, eliminating the need to download additional software. To scan any file on your computer, make sure that file is selected, then drag and drop any file on your computer into the window. According to this, I'll say the file is clean. Back on their home page, you can also check to see if a website is malicious. Select URL, and in the search box, let's go with apple.com. All looks good, but one of the scanners has labeled the site suspicious. This is most likely a false positive, but I'm sure some of you will disagree, especially those who use Linux or Windows. I'll be going through the next few of these at a quicker pace. Figma is for those of you involved in user interface and user experience design. It's great for designing websites, logos, prototyping, and a whole lot more. It's actually very similar to a program for macOS called Sketch. What sets it apart from its competitors is the collaboration features, making it an excellent choice for team projects. Figma's free plan is quite generous, but it's only best for small teams with a limitation of one team project. For unlimited projects and additional features, their professional plan is $12 per editor per month. Also, if you're an educator, check this out. With their education plan, educators and students get the same features in the professional plan free for up to two years. If you're a web developer and you're still using image compression software, TinyPNG is for you. It simply reduces the size of your image files, making web pages load faster. It's simple to use, just drag and drop your image or images up to 20, no larger than 5 megabytes each, into the window. When it's done, you'll see how much your image has reduced in size. And it says here, Panda just saved you 52%. You also have the option to download it to your computer or save it to Dropbox. If you want to drop more than 20 images at a time and increase the file size limit to 75 megabytes for each image, their pro plan is just $25 per year. Powtoon is a platform for creating short video presentations with tools to help you create fully customized animated slideshows that are presented like videos. It's very user-friendly and highly intuitive to help give your videos a professional quality look. Powtoon does offer a free plan, but limits the presentation length to three minutes. For longer presentation lengths and additional features, plans start at $19 per month. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What websites do you use with powerful tools that are good alternatives to PC software? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell for more cool websites and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.